access to fresh water in parts of southern Colorado is becoming more and more scarce. In some places, wells are drying up and water is restricted or unavailable. News 5's Bill Folsom explains how some living in rural areas fear it won't be long before they have no nearby access to water. Tanks on trucks and trailers filled at Walsenburg City Hall's water hauling station. It's the fresh water source for many living on the edge of the small town. A lot of the wells that they have, the water's no good for drinking. Wells with questionable water and a lot in the area going dry. Water's getting short everywhere and we can't live that water. Their wells is going dry. Joe Concilia has a water hauling business. He's getting a lot more calls these days. He's also not happy with the city raising fees and more enforcement of laws restricting who can get water from the hauling station. They'll give the marijuana people all the water they want. But people that have houses and kids and going to school, they want to cut them off. They're more than 10 miles out of town. The city did update water hauling statutes last year. It raises the price to just over four cents a gallon. And based on the city's water rights, limits access to the city's zip code or within 10 miles of the city's border. This is one of Walsenberg's reservoirs. Another reservoir in Levita is also low. Levita's mayor is also the state water commissioner for this area. This area of Colorado hasn't received a significant amount of moisture, widespread moisture since May of last year, 2017. The dry conditions factored into the devastating Spring Creek wildfire burning hotter and faster this past summer. The fire's out, but the dry streak shows no signs of stopping. It's a bad, bad situation. The water commissioner has 30 years experience in this region and says there's no doubt it's why wells are going dry. Many make the mistake of thinking their well water comes from an aquifer. He says there's not an aquifer here. Instead, underground water is from rivulets. They're the underground equivalent of a stream. They're hard to tap and so narrow, they are rarely shared with other wells. It's the water that's generated in mountains. It's water that's generated in higher elevations that are seeping into the ground, traveling rather rapidly through the ground. Wells drying up, the underground water gone, so people look to the surface. Only depending on where you live in this county, the options may be few, and if there are options, they're expensive. The Charish River through Levita is running at just two cubic feet a second. More than low, it's nearly dry. Reservoir storage is best at two to three years in storage. Here, it's at one year. Those numbers are, are probably at an all-time low. They're as low as I've ever seen them in the last 30 years. The town of Levita is on restrictions. Walsenburg is getting tougher about rules. Many residents in the county with dry wells who can't get water think the towns are being unfair. Only town leaders have an obligation within their borders to make sure there's water for homes, businesses, fire protection, and sewer systems. There's going to come a time when they're just going to have to say to all external customers that we can no longer service you until, until times get better. That time has arrived for parts of the county. We need a winter. We need a wet winter. I got 22 inches of snow. I keep track of it. And usually we'll get 100 inches. I'm hoping we'll get 150 inches this year. The only lasting solution, no one can control. Watching out for you, Wefferno County, Bill Folsom, News 5.